Good day. I'm on route from Ottawa to Toronto with the staggering news that inflation has hit a 30-year high and food price inflation is up to a staggering 10%. I'm meeting people right across this country who cannot afford to eat. They can't put food on the table. Single moms are skipping meals so that their kids don't have to. Uh, they're basically uh, struggling and uh, um, staggering from uh, one grocery aisle to another trying to find something that they can actually afford. Um, this is the inflation that I warned would happen when the government started printing money to pay for its half trillion dollars of deficits. More money chasing fewer goods always means higher prices. Uh, so what, you, what we need to do is get our spending under control, eliminate the inflationary taxes and deficits that are driving up the cost of living. Uh, the reality is the cost of government is driving the cost of living. The more they spend, the more things cost. Inflationary deficits mean more dollars chasing fewer goods, and inflationary taxes make it more expensive for businesses to uh, produce those goods. Now, uh, on top of that, the central bank has been printing money like it's going out of style. Um, the central bank governor is supposed to, ha to have one job, keep inflation low. Um, and he didn't do that job. Inflation is now running at two and a, three and a half times uh, its target of 2%. What happens when you don't do your job? You get fired. Well, why is it that a big shot banker gets to keep his job uh, when he doesn't do it? He could have said no to Justin Trudeau. He could have said, no, my job is to keep inflation low and protect people's money uh, from inflation, not to print cash for you to spend, Mr. Prime Minister. Instead, he had decided that his role was to basically bankroll the Trudeau government, become Justin's personal ATM machine. Well, in the real world, when you don't do your job, you get fired. I'm going to bring the real world to Ottawa. I will fire the bank, uh, central bank governor, and I'll replace him with someone who will do the job of a central bank governor, uh, which is to keep inflation low, control the money supply to, to grow only in uh, accordance with the growth of the economy. Uh, and instead of creating more cash, why don't we create more of what cash buys? Grow more food, build more homes, and generate more Canadian energy in this country. Let's get the gatekeepers out of the way and off the backs of our farmers by reducing their taxes and red tape so they can more affordably produce our food. Let's incentivize our municipalities to remove the gatekeepers so the builders can build more homes. Let's sell off 15% of the uh, 50, 37,000 federal buildings so that they can be converted into housing for our young people to live in. Um, and let's finally get the gatekeepers out of the way of our energy sector so we can produce a more clean Canadian oil and gas rather than importing it from abroad and sending our money overseas. So in other words, make more stuff that money buys rather than just producing more cash with which to buy it. That's just common sense. I've been calling for this for two years. If they had listened to me at the outset, we would not have this inflation crisis today. So, uh, but in order for me to do any of this, I need to first become the leader of the Conservative Party. Uh, you need to become a member uh, of the party in order to be eligible to vote. Only members of the party can vote. Uh, happily, it is easy to, to become a member. You can go to my website, pierre4pm.ca slash membership. pierre4pm.ca slash membership. In other words, that's the number four. If you go to pierreforpm.ca slash membership right now, you can become a member, you can vote, make me the leader, I'll be Justin Trudeau's worst nightmare, and I will take office with, with a policy of strong money to make your purchasing power uh, bigger and your dollar go further. That's what we need right now, but I can't do it without your support. Sign up now. Let's take back control of our lives and make Canada the freest nation on earth. Join with me to make it happen.